Good evening. This is VTO President Andrew Sparr with an important bargaining update. I want to first start out by thanking the negotiations team for their hard work during this nearly five and a half hour negotiation sessions today. We were able to reach an agreement with the district. The district met our demands and therefore all eligible employees will receive one step increase retroactive to July 1, 2011. Those at the top of the salary schedule will receive an increase of 1.5% retroactive to July 1, 2011. Last, any new employee in the district hired before January 1, 2012, who is brand new to teaching, will receive a one-time bonus of $100. While this may not have been the best settlement we would have all hoped, this was the best agreement we could reach under the circumstances. We must remember that the Florida legislature and the governor have continued to cut billions out of public education in the state of Florida, and we must hold them accountable for the decisions that they have made. I also want to point out that our surrounding districts are still mostly at the negotiation table. Flagler County did receive their step this year, but other than that, so far, no other county has received their step or an increase this year. So, when we look at Volusia County and we look at the county government as well as the municipalities, we must remember that while they did get decent increases this year, many of them have not had increases over the last several years. While we did get one step in the 2009-10 school year and in 07-08, the last year we got a real raise was 5% when all the surrounding municipalities and the county only received 2%. So when you look at the last five years, Employees in Volusia counties will have had an average increase of about 8%, while surrounding communities, the county of Volusia and the municipalities, had an increase of about 5%. To reach this agreement today, we did make some concessions on negotiations for next school year. First, we will not negotiate language next school year. If we return to the table, it will be for finances only. Second, we will not return to the table next year until these, till January of 2013, should certain financial conditions exist. We have to wait and see if those financial conditions exist, and that is why the return to the table will not occur until January 2013. Those financial conditions would require that the district have more funds available through the reserves at the end of the school year and increases in funding from Tallahassee, as well as savings incurred from retirements. Those funds must exceed the increased costs to the district for next school year. Again, we appreciate the hard work of our negotiations team, and we will have more information to you in the coming days. Ratification of this agreement will take place sometime next week. Again, more information will be forthcoming. Uh, thank you so much for your time. Thank you for your patience. And I agree with you. It's about time we got our step. Have a good evening.